In case you've been under a rock and haven't been tuning in to Too Real for TV.com for your daily dosage of news you can use, the boys from Backpage have been busted and locked up. But guess what? They just posted bail. Can you imagine that? And they not a flight risk? I am flabbergasted. A Too Real for TV exclusive. 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 Okay, so man, in case y'all haven't been uh, up on news, I don't know where you've been, or maybe you don't care, but I'm trying to give you some news you can use. The Backpage.com, the porn hub, the website that's been a hub for escort services all over the nation. The the owner, what's the owner's name? Carl Ferreira. Carl Ferreira, OG pimp buddy Carl Ferreira from the Netherlands, has a Dutch-owned company. Of Backpage.com. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Backpage.com, it's similar to Craigslist.com. You put ads on there for everything. If you need to use bike, PlayStation games, whatever. However, 90% of the business that Backpage gets comes from ads in the sexual industry. Escorts, rub downs, massages, you know, all the good shit. So, 90% of the business comes from that. Now, Backpage... They just got locked up because they're charging the owners with pimping. They trying to say that all of these girls and minors have been human traffic victims because of Backpage. Now, they're saying because of Backpage, they're going to indirectly charge the CEOs and the owners, the main shareholders, for pimp and pandering charges of underage girls. Now, me, honestly, this sounds ridiculous because... These guys just run a company. That's like saying Double XL or like saying uh, uh, Vogue magazine. If they get an ad, that's like saying you get an ad in your magazine, you have to know where the money come from. You don't know. It might be from drug dealers. You don't know where the money came from. They right. just placed the ad in your magazine. You don't know. So the one, you messing with freedom of speech. But already what I'm looking at it is. It's just a shakedown. They said back page. Now, me, I, I don't pocket watch a lot of people. I don't. But I ain't going to lie. I pocket watch Backpage. I was like, man, I wonder how much money they making at $12 an ad. I had no clue they was making this much. They was making $1.2 to $2 million a month. A month. In California, I believe. In California alone. Just in California. That don't even include Chicago, New York. Now, this is a Dutch-owned company, so it's, it's worldwide. But just in California, and this is why California filing the charges, because California like, yo, you making all this money, man. You got to cut us in because we need a piece of that bread, blood. So from 2013, the paper said from 2013, I forgot. I think it was May from 2013 to 2015, basically like a year and a half. In a year and a half time span, in California alone, Backpage cleared $51 million. Fifty one million. Fifty one million. That's just in California. Just in California. Fifty one million within a two year period. Just in California. This is not an American owned company. This is a Dutch owned LLC, Limited Liability Corporation. So they waited to call Ferrara came to the country for them to lock them up in Texas and extradite them back to California. California said we gotta put the extortion game down, cuz. Y'all know how it go. 51 million, we need a piece. And I'm going to tell you how I know this is some bullshit. You want to know how I know this is some bullshit? How? You want to know how I know this is some bullshit? Ask how? me how, how you, how know, that. Do you know this is some bullshit. I'm going to tell you how I know this is some bullshit. Okay? This is the biggest indication that this is some bullshit, right? Because they gave these niggas a bond. Oh, now, I have seen, I have been, y'all know me. I've racist shit. Listen, I've been reporting news you can use for years. Most of my life right now, you know, and I've been seeing brothers get locked up clear across the country, especially California. Matter of fact, I'll, matter of fact, I'm willing to say California, I get more news reports on people getting locked up on human trafficking and underage girls in California than any other place in America. Why is that? I don't know. Something about that goddamn Orange County. Oh. Something about that Bay Area. Them it two spots there. On Backpage. It's never like on uh, 
We don't know. Don't dry snitch and say where it else should be. We don't know. Anyway. So, but what I'm saying is every time I see these guys get caught up with an underage kid or a minor, they never post bail on them. And you know why? They say because they're a flight risk or the case is too severe. So, now y'all going to charge the people from Backpage. With the same crime, y'all saying they pimping, y'all saying they pimping minor underage kids, but you give them a bail of five hundred thousand. Well, how much was the bails? Um, one was five hundred thousand, and then two fifty. Okay, two. so you know five hundred thousand for the head honcho, two fifty for his two partners, his rappies. Now, you're going to give these dudes a half a million dollar bill after you know for a fact it's documented they just made $51 million in your state. So you know they got that bond money. One. Two, you just called him because he was coming in on a flight from a, from a Dutch flight from out of the country. So if anybody's a flight risk, it's these motherfuckers. A nigga from Oakland ain't no motherfucking flight risk. He ain't even got a passport. Nigga from Orange County, where he going to go? Mexico, nigga? Where he, where he going to go? He ain't going to go nowhere. But because he black, once again, I just made a video about this in Cook County, how they locked the girl up and they held her indefinite um, detention. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is the oh, same. The this is the same shit. Because y'all know that people fight their cases much better when they're out on the streets. They can function better. They can get better legal representation. They can do better research. When you locked up in jail, your business is falling, falling apart. You stressed out about money, everything. So they lock a nigga up. For some little punk shit and won't even give them a bond. Not only did y'all give these white boys a bond, y'all gave them a reasonable bond. Now, in no way do I want anybody to look at this video and think I am mad at the back page owners because I feel like the cases are bullshit. I feel like they shouldn't be charged in the first place because if they didn't have any direct contact with these underage girls, they didn't have nothing to do with it. That's like blaming Ford or Chevy every time I drive by shooting go on. These niggas do a drive by shooting. Oh man, well we gotta they, were driving a Ford. they was driving a Ford, so we gotta we gotta go get we gotta go get Chevy. We gotta get a Chevrolet because they was driving a Chevy. They did the drive by in a Chevy. Or they kidnapped somebody in a Chevy. So we gotta go sue the owner of Chevy. So it's bullshit. So I don't wanna see the CEOs of Backpage locked up because what they doing is what you call free enterprise. And I love free enterprise. That's how niggas like me make a living. So Y'all tell me what y'all think. What you think? I think it's pretty unfair. I'm, I'm like, I'm flabbergasted. Like, I'm flabbergasted. Ladies and gentlemen, flabbergasted is the word around the office now. <laughs> we are flabbergasting daily at this bullshit. The hypocrisies of what's going on. Y'all know I want y'all to leave a comment at the bottom. Tell me what you think. Should these white boys be punished for being pimps and pimping on minors and they should get as much time as they give black men even though they didn't meet these girls and don't know them and they never seen them a day in their life or do you think they need to stop playing and let them boys go 500,000 that little bail money they probably gonna be like man just give us a donation California like man just give us some campaign donations man well I guess they're doing that because they you know how we were watching that movie today about the about um trick yeah, yeah, yeah. And that girl was like, oh, they have all these minors in on back page. But it's like, they don't know. Yeah, they don't know. How are they supposed to know? And if they did know, they flagged the thing down. It's just really a, a shot at freedom of speech to attack these guys, man. So I think it's ridiculous. You know, I'm not mad at them. Get their money. I wish more. But, but this is the crazy thing about it, right? If a nigga owned back page... He wouldn't have made a fraction of that money. If a nigga, if some niggas, if me and three of my partners own black, if two real for TV.com dared try to do the shit back page do, man, they would kick in every dough they thought I was at overnight. Nigga, you are not about to get no money. What Chris Rock say, it's all right as long as it's all white. You could sell, you could sell sex, you could sell guns, you could sell tobacco, you could open up weed dispensaries, you could sell. What well, alcohol, whatever, it's all right, long as it's all white. If a nigga tried, you dead in the water. And this is a perfect example. The back page dudes got out on a funky ass 
$500,000 bond. $500,000. Multi-millionaire. $500,000 bond. But a nigga catch a case just like that. No bond. Flight risk. And he ain't even got a passport. Leave your comments below. Tell me what you think, man. Should the white boys be locked up? Should they get out for free? 2RiverTV.com Y'all subscribe to the channel, man. I see some of y'all watching. Y'all ain't subscribing. Subscribe to the channel. Church. Too real for TV.com.